Hey everyone, it's Gentry Stein. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, and welcome to episode number one of Learn to Yo-Yo. Starting today, I'll have a new episode of Learn to Yo-Yo right here on my YouTube channel each day at 10 a.m. Pacific time over here in California or 1 p.m. Eastern time over on the East Coast. And we're gonna learn a brand new trick every day, starting with how to throw your yo-yo, how to do tricks like forward pass and around the world, and even the elevator all in the first week. So if you don't wanna miss out on any yo-yo tricks, hit that red subscribe button down below and make sure to click on the notification bell and we'll get to learning some brand new yo-yo tricks every day. Let's first talk about why I love yo-yoing. And I think if you start learning some tricks, you'll love it too. The first reason I love yo-yoing is because everyone can learn. It doesn't matter how old you are or how tall, if you're right or left-handed, everyone can learn how to yo-yo. And it's really easy to start learning too. The more you practice, the more fun it becomes, and there's an unlimited amount of tricks you can learn. So as long as you have your yo-yo with you, you'll never be bored again. I could talk about why I love yo-yoing all day, but I know a lot of you are probably wondering, what makes a good yo-yo, and how do I choose a good yo-yo for me? Well, there's a lot of different yo-yos out there, but if you pick the right one, it can make learning a whole lot easier. This yo-yo right here is the Yo-Yo Factory Spin Star, and it's the yo-yo that I recommend everyone get started with. When you're getting started, the first thing to learn is always throwing the yo-yo. So you want a yo-yo that will spin at the bottom of the string, and when you're ready to bring it back up, it should come up with just a small tug. Also, the Spin Star is really easy to wind up, and when you're first practicing, trust me, you'll be winding the string a lot. Another cool thing about the Spin Star is that you can unscrew it, so when you're practicing those new tricks, if you get a knot, you can easily get that out and get back to practicing. So once you've gotten through the basics, you're gonna want an upgrade to a yo-yo with a ball bearing on the inside. This yo-yo right here is called the Yo-Yo Factory One, and it's my favorite upgrade from the Spin Star for your first ball bearing yo-yo. If you don't know what a ball bearing yo-yo is, it's just like what's on the inside of a skateboard wheel. And actually on the inside of the yo-yo is where the bearing is and you can hear it spinning and it allows the yo-yo to spin for way longer. As you can see, the yo-yo is still spinning from when I first threw it. So this is going to help you start to learn some of those slightly more difficult tricks because you're going to have a lot more spin to work with. And finally, after you've mastered some of the basics, you're going to want an unresponsive yo-yo. Now, some of you may be wondering, what's an unresponsive yo-yo? Well, after you've been practicing for a couple weeks, you want your yo-yo to have a much wider ball bearing on the inside. That way, when you throw it, it'll spin and spin and spin, and it'll keep spinning as you're practicing those more difficult tricks and it's not gonna run out of spin, so it makes it much easier to perform them. So an unresponsive yo-yo is actually a little bit more difficult to use than a responsive yo-yo because it's not gonna come back up to your hand when you tug it. And you actually have to do a trick to bring the yo-yo back up to your hand, and we'll get to that in a later episode, but that's why I only recommend a unresponsive yo-yo if you've already been practicing with a responsive yo-yo like the Spin Star or the One. And this yo-yo right here is called the Yo-Yo Factory Replay Pro. And I actually designed this yo-yo with my sponsor, Yo-Yo Factory, after winning my very first World Yo-Yo Championship. And I created this yo-yo to be the first yo-yo to get started with unresponsive yo-yoing on. And I actually used the Replay Pro to win the US National Yo-Yo Contest. I know I talked a lot about these yo-yos in this video, so it may have got a bit confusing. If you'd like to check out these yo-yos a little bit more and get some more details, you can head over to my website, gentrystein.com. I'll also put a link down in the description of this video, and there you'll also find the yo-yo master pack, which includes all three of these yo-yos that I've recommended in this video, along with some extra strings. 
So that's going to wrap up episode one of Learn to Yo-Yo. I'm so excited to start learning with you guys. And if you know anybody who might also like to learn some yo-yo tricks, make sure to send them the link to this video so we can all learn together. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow in episode two of Learn to Yo-Yo. <laughs>